All right, welcome back to a, another edition of our Throwback Thursday Tips. I didn't know if this would actually be a series that we, uh, we did for a while, and you seem to watch them, sort of. So we're just going to keep doing them. And this week we are on Glacier Ranch 13. There is my golfer. I promise I'm not going to abuse satellite cam as much as I used to. But let's at least explore the outline of the hole. This is a par 5, and this is a good one. Um, because again, this is sort of more of a traditional shortcut, if you will, mode of play. Here's the layout of the hole. It's very nice. I'm in my blimp. Uh, and um, that's basically you've got that giant green mountain in the way and you're going to need to avoid that. So there's a few different ways to tackle this. The enhancement of golden tees has changed this some. And before you really couldn't just power past everything and go into the fairway, but you certainly can now, especially with a wind like this. Um, if you do a high tee and you hit, say, a big A1 to kind of curve around, you can get into that fairway certainly and either have a straight look at the shot. Let's go out there. I said I wasn't going to do satellite cam, I lied. I'm going to just keep abusing it. You know, you can end up here where you have a slight curve or even end up way out here where you'll have a really straight shot. Majority of the looks... I doubt it will be there because you can see I'm way up in the tee box and this is a, Jesus, that's a, that's a big one. Um, so the way that you actually want to tackle this, and let's get into satellite mode again, is this hill here, um, as we go and explore, is not just a hill, but you see it kind of levels up up there. That is for a reason because this is a, that's a boulder. This is a nice little landing area. You don't necessarily have to be on the hill, but from here, you've got a pretty good shot into the green. Actually, with this wind, it could be a great shot into the green. So uh, the, really the way to do this, depending on what your tee is, uh, it's not necessarily an, an easy shot by any means, uh, but you're going to want an assortment of fairway woods. I actually wish I'd had a, um, a four wood, but I think a five wood here should be okay. And you just kind of want to try to land it on top of it or just short. What I think you have to look out for is going too far because if you go too far or left it's very easy to screw this shot up and end up in the water because once you miss that it all slopes down so there is some risk here uh, but let's try it so I'm gonna just try and push this a little right to left and kind of go with the wind and see how we end up okay that was actually decent thought I was going to have to reshoot so again be mindful of really if you're short you're in trouble. If you're left, you're, you're probably in trouble as well. But from here, I'm not in trouble. In fact, I've got a really nice look. Um, depending on what the wind is, you you got to get over this hill. So you're going to want to be hitting fairway woods. You're not going to be wanting hitting your, your driver into that. But I do like the look of this. So let's just move this along. I wish I would have hit it a little harder. Maybe applied some roll. Actually, I wish I would have just done everything perfectly. And I'm really good at golden tee. Shows what I know, even when I hit a good shot, I can't say that I'm going to hit a good shot. Uh, so that's it. So Glacier Ranch 13, uh, you can try and overpower the thing if you're feeling your beer muscles, or you can play for that little hill and hopefully play for an eagle. That's it for this week. We will see you again next time.